Texas farmer Morgan Karaoke is. Um, <sighs> oh, that's a mystery. night where it was all up, 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 which is sort of where the the Francis Farmer reference came from, because the legend was when she was at Western State Hospital, she was institutionalized, was that she got a lobotomy, which is not true, but I like the fact that the songbook can be seen as the fact that we've lobotomized all the depressing stuff, and it's just all the manic stuff that's left, right? <laughs> Doing, I believe, in a thing called love as a chicken. It's, it's been an ambition of mine for at least three years. The first time I ever heard that song, I thought, he sounds like a chicken. Somebody should do that. So I like things that aren't necessarily songs or lyrics or you have to be a good singer to do, but somehow we know them anyway and share it and you can perform it somehow. But even these selections in the book are somewhat unwritten. I just put that out there. Here's the Nokia cell phone ringtone. What do you want to do with it? I don't necessarily know what we can do. It's kind of saying, complete this, right? It's something of a dare. Like I just put it on there and walk away and say, you know it, what do you want to do? What about the kids that look up to you? Do you have a message for them? All the kids are going to have to make a fuck more dance and call them on the fuck up for breaking up sex. Such a fool, poor message, the whole way you laugh at the crap is going to let you die. Dude, you know I'm talking to you. Well, love you, Natalie. You want to fuck me, too? Hey, I just want to You can seriously cut somebody off, take the mic from them, and finish their song or start a new one, and it's cool, it's funny, it's, you know, because there's no point, there, why shouldn't you? It's karaoke. You don't even have to sing the words to the song. You can say whatever you want, and he will never stop, and he will never tell you you're doing it wrong. If you know a cheer, you can come up and do a cheer, like a cheerleader cheer. Um, if you have physical feats that you can do, juggling or balancing or something like that, I'll play saber dance behind you while you do it. So these are things that aren't singing, but are still performance, or something you have and now here, we'll call that karaoke, right? It is performance art, really, but it's performance art that anyone can participate in. Anybody off the street can walk in and be a part of this. Remember! When he touched my cheek. Remember! With his fingertips. Remember! The highlight for me has always been when people say that they've, they hate karaoke and they've never performed before, and this is the first time I've ever done it here. And they always say because they feel comfortable. So that's just, I'm very proud of that. If I mess up, if I'm a little off tune, he covers the time and speed. So I can sing anything I want and I sound so much better than I would anywhere else. I have a background in jazz. And so I'm always trying to find out where they're going. If they go really quick, I will play really quick. If they go really slow, I'll play really slow. If they skip a verse, I will skip a verse. If they skip two measures and consistently skip two measures, I'll remember that the first two times and say, all right, the next five times this happens in the song, I will skip those two measures and subtract them, and usually you're right on. Oh, yeah, you got to move around. Well, it feel, it, the way that it's set up, it kind of feels like you're at an altar. So it kind of feels like you're preaching. 
So when you know you get excited and you, you just preach, you just gotta move around a lot. I, I gotta move around a lot. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mom. I'm just... So there's a, a lot of movement in the shows where people aren't just on the stage because there's such an aura of permissiveness. It's a very physical show. <laughs> you would think it says karaoke and it's people sitting and watching them, but it's a lot of people that are moving from here to there or, or uh, joining other people or, or shouting back at them from, from the table. So. so if you really love me, say yes. But if you don't, dear, and please don't tell me, perhaps... If karaoke is you taking the construct of another personality and making it yours there's a thing on the list which nobody's done yet and it's called coup d'etat karaoke and it says you get the show for 10 minutes it's yours and it's very specific it says that doesn't mean you just sing you're the host you get the organ you get my drink i get out of the way and you do what you want to do what do you want to do for 10 minutes so now that you have the show do you want to keep running down the list of people that are singing do you want to go up there and just recite poetry do you want to do aerobics do you want to do a venture capital pitch what is it? i mean it's yours now you got 10 minutes you got my drink i'm going to sit in the back i'm going to watch i mean it's kind of the ultimate conclusion to all of this is you know karaoke the entire show <laughs> Somebody up here. She's moving. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah.